All right, I finally got a couple minutes while the shop is quiet. Today we are gonna start going after our putting the new transmission in the Steiger. First thing we gotta do, clean back around it. It's always funny, every project, we've just had so much equipment coming and going in the shop, number of pieces out in front of the shop, uh, just working on them there. Uh, it's just that pre-fall, just craziness that I've kind of gotten used to. Uh, over here we got where the delivery guy just walks in and drops packages off on the floor. Uh, it's just that typical normal whirlwind, uh, whirlwind uh, time frame of the year. And uh, everyone's coming and going or getting parts or this or that. But finally today, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna clean around here. I'm gonna start laying out all the pieces, uh, pieces of the puzzle for the uh, tractor here. And uh, we're gonna start getting it back up into place hopefully today. Uh, this is the first time I've ever put a tranny back up in place in one of these. Uh, heck yeah, here we go. <laughs> I don't know if there's a right way or a wrong way to do a YouTube video, but I'm sure starting a video two years ago and then coming back to it's probably not like in any of the manuals, right? Probably not. So if you can't tell, uh, with the footage you seen earlier in the video, what you seen, we actually shot in 20, we actually were filming it in 2021, back when we were working on the Steiger here behind us. And it's kind of funny because this, this has been the butt of a lot of jokes, hasn't it? Um, we originally, started working on this tractor in March of 21 and then got the transmission out got it to the repair shop and then they they, they told me like two weeks to rebuild it uh, four months later we got it back and actually it was this time of year it was September uh, 17th that weekend that I started uh, September 17th of 21 that I started actually that we got the transmission back in the shop and I started going back up into place with it yeah. and that first it's it's so screwy because there's a lot to this story and a lot we're just going to kind of speed through but that weekend was actually really nice my mom and dad actually went up picked it up picked the transmission up we had it back in the shop and i remember thinking it was a friday uh friday afternoon we got started on this and i was like yes we are going to get this in place um and we came pretty dang close you know when you're doing this step one obviously remove old transmission step two take it to a transmission shop get it rebuilt step three get it back and you know step four would be slide it underneath the tractor which even that uh, was a little bit of a challenge because where we had to put it under, we still had to move it over about four feet. And then my dad had this really great idea of just putting the fork extensions on. He put it under the transmission under the tractor. Then he put the fork extensions on of the skid loader and was able just to slide it off to the side. It is really kind of cool. Um, then I had to start, I grabbed a couple of ratchet binders and we started going back up into place. And the biggest challenge with this transmission is literally the tranny is like, this height off the ground. It's about a good five feet off the ground. So close, huh? Mm-hmm. So what do you think so far? Getting there. So I've been wrestling a transmission. Thought it was gonna win. Not quite. But me and Ben are here tonight working on this old Steiger. Man, it's a lot of fun in a weird, yeah, very weird way. But uh Holy crap, it is nice to see it there. Yeah. It'll be nicer when it's like actually attached to the motor, but it'll just be nice this fall when we're ripping with it and we don't need a bungee cord to hear, uh, keep it in gear. <laughs> That's what's really gonna be nice. So I'm taking a little bit of a break. I'm tired, if you can't tell, I'm just exhausted, but ah, oh, we're so close. So we're gonna catch a second wind, power through, get it all bolted up into place tonight. That's my goal. And you don't know this yet, because uh, you've never seen the footage. Um, I actually made one 
uh, mistake in all of this that uh, made me definitely have a better belief in a higher power. Not that I ever had a lack of a belief. You remember the hoist we had it mounted on, right? Yeah. I was going the wrong way with the bolt. And actually, you can see it here in the footage. Uh, the bolt comes out and then wedges this way. And the whole tranny should have literally just dropped on me. And it didn't. So I'm happy about that. <laughs> uh, you can see where it just comes out. And I was going the wrong way with it, trying to adjust it. Kind of did a bonehead thing. I uh, went the wrong way with the screw jack. I thought both sides of the nuts were welded. Um, well, actually, it turned out only one side was. But uh, basically, one end of the jack came out. Luckily, no one got hurt. We all got all these, which still, that's a good thing. But uh, now the tranny's just kind of hanging there. So I got to figure out how to redo this. Uh, I think we're kind of back to uh, plan B. And because the hard part was we had the tranny up, but we had to either tip it up or tip it down. And it wasn't as easy as a lot of people would think to put it into place. And then even right now we added this chain. We added this chain here as a safety mechanism and that went down all the way around um, kind of our uh, clamp mechanism there. And actually I got this clevis right here with that bolt right there. Um, for about a half hour, that's the only thing in the world we had holding that tranny four feet up off the ground. <laughs> oh, something just fell. Oh well. Um, but I was going back with the one uh, bracket. I didn't realize there was no nut on the other end of it. And when it came out of its uh, like holder, I mean, the whole thing just dropped. And then <laughs> luckily I was still able to walk away with all of these. Um, yeah, it, I, I, Penn was helping me that night. And I remember like I got out got out of the tractor or got out from underneath the tractor and just was just sitting there for about 10 minutes just going oh that one was too close to call step so step three four yeah so we already screwed up the steps <laughs> step five six eventually you got to get to a point where you put the flywheel on the clutch on so, i don't know there's so many steps you can see here where it says 14 of 84 i bet that means the manufacturer date was 14th week of 1984 Kind of just a neat little dorky little thing, but kind of cool. Step seven, yeah, <laughs> just keep going up. Took two years. But yeah, there's a lot of steps. There's a lot of steps. <laughs> <laughs> well, that night we actually, so I remember this Friday night carrying over into Saturday. Um, I actually got the transmission up and everything all lined up to go back together. Okay, go a couple more. Together and I got the transmission to bolt up to the flywheel and then I had this problem where I couldn't I forgot to link the clutch linkage like the clutch fork lever to the clutch as you're sliding it in you got to get the clutch uh, fork to go up and over the release bearing yeah. and so then we had to go back apart Saturday morning I remember that I uh I'm in between the frame rails of the Steiger and the transmission is right there if I look tired I am if I looked happy I am. Um, I uh, ran a strap around the drop box to the inspection hole cover. Uh, that's what this is right there. And uh, was able to uh, pull the transmission back about not even an inch. And sure enough, the forks dropped in. The forks dropped in where they're supposed to. Uh, it wasn't so bad doing it once, but I actually had to do it twice. So we finally, for the third time, we get it back together the way it should. The fork over the clutch release bearing and get everything bolted down and we started getting the pumps back on it and everything was going really really good until we got to we'll just call it the last step for this series yep. we noticed we had one big problem and the big problem was the clutch was not coming back to catch the clutch brake which in a semi okay you just know you put a bigger clutch brake in there a clutch brake disc what we were really what started off to be the problem or the unknown is we started second guessing, is this the right clutch? Was something machined wrong? You know, we couldn't figure out what that was. And I actually had that weekend, I had a couple different mechanics come out, friends of mine take a look at it and they didn't really have any good answers. I didn't have any good answers. And there we sat Sunday afternoon trying to figure out what do we do? Cause we tried adjusting the clutch in out. We tried different linkages moving the linkage around, all kinds of different stuff. And that was all happening that weekend in September 20, like 20th, right in there, 21st of 2021. Then, that was the good part of the week. 
The next portion of the week ties into our second problem, and that is how does you leave a tractor in the shop for almost two years and not have it done? Well, the next week, we always had about four or five guys on the farm uh, harvest crew, and um, two of them decided to tell, two of them just told me they weren't gonna be around that fall. So that started the problem. The issue with that was we literally, the next weekend started harvesting beans or combining beans. And we combined about 14 acres and then we took out a uh, straw walker barn in the combine, got that fixed, but that wasn't the bad part. Got that fixed and then took out five other straw walkers. Uh, so yeah, things got worse. Then we buy another combine to get us through the season. Uh, you're my witness. I uh, put that one on the way home up against a Jersey barrier to avoid an accident at about four o'clock in the morning. And then when the next later in the afternoon, when we were looking at the combine. I hit something with the clean grain auger. Um, don't know what was under 13 feet um, with air, uh, low boy aired up. And then we had nonstop issues with that combine all fall, right? <laughs> That's the fall. My dad fell in the Torrent field and had to have knee surgery. And then we can just keep going down the list of all the bad crap. We'll just do this. Life's just better in 2023, right? <laughs> There's a whole slew of things that happened in the last two years. And then working on this was always something I wanted to do, but yet just like it was always on the back burner. It wasn't life and death. We can make it work without it. But oh my gosh, how many people have walked into the shop and made stupid comments to me about how long it's been in the shop? A lot. Yeah. Too many. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> the irony with all of those people, because you, you've seen this too. So, like, you've worked on some semis, I've worked on some semis, you've worked on some tractors, some vehicles. Mm -hmm. That wasn't exactly C spot run, getting the transmission out, dropped, flipped, dropped down so we could get it between the drop box and the axles. Yeah. But everybody who walked in the shop and made comments to me made it sound like, oh, it's just like that. What's the yeah. big deal? Everyone does this. Yeah, they've done three or four. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're giving me pointers. In their garage. Yeah. So anyways, yes, that's how you start a tractor working on a tractor in 2021 and you don't get it done to 2023. Simple as that. <laughs> <laughs>